My nail tech knows how to keep it a little secret I don't wish for my success, I speak it I caught a buzz and you did too, but you tweaking I look like I've been getting money, how reek it? You smell me, that's LV Walk around with my chest out and my skin smooth, I'm healthy I'm in a mix and I'm handshaking, but most of y'all can't help me Most of y'all ain't wealthy Most of y'all just dress like it I caught the vibe that y'all giving off And I'm trying to make myself less like it This chick got a little Porsche body I might let the bro test drive it It's hard for me to get excited I love music and stress about it My city haunting, I'm co-signing this wave Coming up next, out it This is the video that you've all been waiting for, and I've been waiting for. Um, I'm gonna drive the car today. Probably not gonna drive it very far. Um, unfortunately, I should have drove it yesterday. The weather was really nice, but I have been waiting around for this fucking dickhead who bought my truck to come and bring me the rest of the cash, which was supposed to be yesterday, and he can't communicate, and so I had to wait around all day for no reason whatsoever, because the truck's still here. Um, and now today it's Saturday and it's about to rain. It's gonna rain tomorrow And then Monday and Tuesday I'll be out of town and I have stuff going on all the next week. So Really irritating, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take it out for a short drive right now I think I'm gonna go grab some lunch somewhere if I can get in anywhere um, And we'll see how this goes I'm, uh, I'm already fed up with the damn thing this morning because I've had it up in the air trying to adjust the uh, toe on this side in the rear because it was so bad and it is so stuck. Like I tried everything. Like WD-40 heated the nut up like crazy and still couldn't get it loose. So I just beat the shit out of myself for absolutely nothing. Um, I managed to adjust it slightly so it's better than it was but I'm now realizing that the toe in the front on the driver's side is now towed in like crazy. It's gonna be a short drive, so I don't feel like fixing it right this second, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited to get this thing on a rack and actually get everything straight so I can start driving it and don't worry about that. Today is a good day to have chrome fit, as you can tell. So I took the thing out and just drove it around the neighborhood again the other day um, after I'd got, you know, fitment and stuff or like turning radius dialed in a little better. And I actually managed to get it back in the driveway without removing any of the bumpers. Uh, it was kind of a pain, and I'm not sure how to get it back out without doing that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to figure that out. Just barely. Yeah, you're good on the bumper. It's just scraping on the sides. Check tire pressures, uh, they're all good. That back corner is a little low, so I gotta put some air in that. But, uh, <laughs> see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully I can make it somewhere and get something to eat before getting stuck, because otherwise I'm gonna end up being in a bad mood, because I'm fucking starving hungry. You're hangry. And it's starting to rain outside, which is just wonderful. Dude, this is the worst car to pull out of our neighborhood because you, <laughs> you can't, can't see, see over the fucking hill. I think you're good. I I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna wait until after that Mustang. Okay, this this road is really bad, so this is gonna be absolutely fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. First maiden voyage out. 
though. Yeah. We got through the worst part of the road. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It really it wasn't like horrible. Like yeah, it's fucking uncomfortable to be in the thing and hit those like bumps of slow speeds. Where you think I can get in there? Mm, honestly, I think I can. Yeah, it's a pretty smooth transition. Oh, sorry, person. You just gotta be able to make it past the three wheel and you're good. <laughs> it's been so long since I put gas on the thing. Alright. We made it to the gas station. Yeah, real quick, what's that pin one more time? 69, 69. I just, I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to document the amount of uh, warning lights that come up on the, on this LS. Because you modify this thing enough and it's going to throw warnings for everything. Will it focus? <laughs> Brake wear. Vehicle stability control. Tail lamp. I can't fucking talk yet, dude. I can't talk. God. Let's try this again. Check. Vehicle stability control. Tail lamp failure. I still can't talk. Low washer fluid. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, where do you want to eat? Shit, I don't care, dude. Where can I get into? <laughs> that, I don't know. <laughs> It's so great because on a day like today, there's not a fucking chance you can see inside this car. Not a chance. <laughs> like, it's overcast outside. These windows are straight up a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your tire mark from uh, uh, when you got in. Oh, fuck yeah. This is going to be like way worse than it was getting in. Be behind. Oh my god, it's so fucking busy outside too. Yeah. This is awful. You know what? Not too bad. Not too yeah. bad. Yeah. I won't lie. I will take it. <laughs> Dude, everyone is already looking at it. I don't remember how bad this road is, to be honest. I don't think it's horrible. Oh, apart from the fucking dead animal in the middle of it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> <Down> you. <laughs> A cyclist. part of the ground of the road to pass this guy. <laughs> Cyclist, dude. No respect, dude. They don't care about stance cars. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, now we're showing it. <laughs> You're in great uh, shape. It's got a little bit of rubbing in the front, so, but it's not anything that's like horrible. Just double check. It's a little bit of a drop right there. Nothing broken. Nothing falling off. I think. I think there's something that is like loose in my trunk that's rattling around, and it's making me paranoid as fuck. Yeah. It's sick trunk setup. Officially made. 
made it. Not no more. <laughs> we made it. We made it. It's rained quite a bit, so. Yeah, great wipers. Oh yeah. <laughs> they were shit before the car sat for two years with dust on it. As much as it's nice that we have a section of road with, with a pull off to the side, this section of road is awful because it has that line and I have to try and fucking avoid it. Maiden voyage. That wasn't horrible. We'll uh, tune in for the next video and see what stuff I broke. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get this thing up in the air. Fucking axle, probably. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of sounded like the axle was binding, which it shouldn't be. I don't know if maybe it's rubbing on the subframe, which I didn't expect to happen. So. Just. Unbelievably hard. Yeah, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Liam. I Liam Isles here. I'm Liam because I got his sunglasses on. Yeah, proper. What are your thoughts? That's about all I have to say. It's low as shit. I don't know how you're gonna get around to just normal roads around town. 
Like going down gun barrel is the main road. We we you gotta you gotta tackle that sometime. That should be fun. What do you think, Stephen? Paul? What do you think? It went okay. Uh, the alignment is really, really bad, and so I can kind of feel it pulling the thing all over the place. I mean, obviously, camber will do that too, but this is way worse than just it having camber. Like, the, the alignment's horrible. Um, so that I need to get taken care of, like, as soon as I fucking can. I need to eyeball it as good as I can in the garage, which has proven to be a pain in the ass thus far. Just enough so that I can drive it to my alignment plug which is two brothers that's 30 minutes, probably 40, 50 minutes taking back roads with that thing. So yeah, I kind of want to make sure I do that before I really attempt to do any more driving with it because I'm going to get through those tires really quick and it's also just kind of sketchy. But uh, it drives decently well. It takes bumps well. It rubs a little bit here and there. We hit a couple of things that were like, oh shit, that was aggressive, but it wasn't anything where it was like, oh fuck, I broke the car. So. You're breaking the car, Samir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just intending that over the next month, uh, I'm gonna try and drive it as much as possible and really just kind of put it through its paces, test it on all kinds of different roads. Like once it's aligned, I'll drive it on the interstate. Like I'll drive at 70 and fucking see what it does, hitting bumps, whatever. That gas station entrance was a lot easier getting in than it was getting out, but I just sent it on the way out and it was fine. It didn't rip anything off or break it. Um, getting back into the driveway, I think I now have that down to somewhat of a science. That's gonna get better once they get done with building this neighborhood and pave the road over completely. I won't have that like little drop down from the driveway to the street. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a static car. It's gonna be a hassle to drive. And like I said in that other video where I explained why I'm going static, when the car is done, when I get it back from paint, I'm planning that I'm gonna do air cups on the car. I just wanna dial everything in and test it right now now because air cups you can't drive aired up like it will break them if you drive aired up they're only so that you can air up to get in an entrance and then you air back down and so i plan to do those and that will help a ton with getting into entrances but i have to make sure that everything works right now um, at the height that i wanted at and the car looks great rolling as you guys have seen um, it sounds awful because the fucking exhaust is horrible Thanks, Ben, for filming and coming. I'm ad-libbing ad uh, hand movements like you two. Nice. What is going on, guys? Yo. Go. What is going on? Fuck Just yourself. absolutely fuck that subscribe button, dude. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm stoked. It, it felt good to like get it out and drive it. The reactions were hilarious, although I wasn't paying attention. I know Ben was like noticing people staring and being... Mm -hmm. It was just dying laughing. Big stoked and... If you guys didn't realize, obviously, the new drop is live. These hoodies are a part of that. Please go grab that stuff. It's only available until Monday, the 7th of March. After that, you literally can't get them again. Yeah, don't miss out. And I also have, I also have this shirt underneath this, which is the static shirt. So if you really enjoy this car and static things and you want this dope coilover shirt, go ahead and grab that too. But uh, hey, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you soon for another video, which the truck is still here. Hopefully the truck is going to be gone on Monday, which is the same day I fly to Florida to buy a car. And so, yeah, it's cutting it really fucking close. So tune in for that video, because that's coming very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you. We'll see you soon.